In this video, we'll focus on the basic modify tools found in AutoCAD. We'll be changing the position of the closet, the side door, due to the interference with the base cabinet and wall cabinet in our kitchen design. We'll also change the window and the size of it because it actually goes down into the cabinets. And we can't see that from here. And we'll use the orbit for that. We'll also change the position of the sink in Z. It doesn't look like it right now, but it's actually setting on the ground. We'll also be changing the range and refrigerator to line up a little bit with the cabinets that are above them. We'll start with these first and we'll simply left click on the range and we'll left click on the cabinet. And you can see that it is a little off. The cabinet stops here against the 12 inch cabinet and stops here against the range. I'm gonna select escape. I'm gonna select the range and since the grip is in the middle, I'm simply gonna grab the middle of the grip and drag it until I see a triangle which represents the midpoint. If your midpoint isn't on, come down to by your taskbar and you'll see a small little box with a spark. And you'll see a small little down triangle. Left click on that down triangle and you'll notice these are the object snaps or the stickers available to you to stick to different components and shapes. If midpoint is not checked, you will not see the triangle. Make sure midpoint is checked. Left click back in your screen. You can see now our range is evenly spaced within that wall cabinet. The refrigerator, I'm simply going to left click and do the same thing. Left click on the grip and drag it until I see the midpoint of that cabinet. And now the refrigerator is lined up. We're going to select the window and in the same manner, we're going to select the grip and it doesn't have to necessarily slide straight across or horizontal. We can simply left click on any midpoint that's available to us because the window needs to stay in the wall. And left click to drop. And you can see it's perfectly centered within the cabinets and within the sink. Changing the closet and the side door, it's a little trickier. There's two types of drags you can do in AutoCAD, a front drag and a back drag. If I select in anticipation of a big square around, I'm gonna left click and not drag by holding my left mouse button down, but simply letting go of my left mouse button and clicking down in the right. That's a front drag. I'm gonna select Escape. If I do a back drag and just do the opposite, whether it be up here or here, you can see that the window changes differently. Here it's green. Left click. And you can see more components are highlighted. So the difference, if I move over here, click, let go, you can see the front drag option and the back drag option. The front drag needs to capture everything within that box to be selected. In the back drag with the dashed lines, things just need to be hit to be selected. If I come up here and I want to select just the wall, the bifold doors, this wall, and this door, I would anticipate my drag starting here. Left click and drag to capture everything within that window that I previously mentioned. Left click. And you can see it's just the door, that wall, that wall, and this door. This wall is not selected. This cabinet and this cabinet are not selected. If I select escape and do the same thing and I get close here and I capture what I believe to be just those two walls horizontal for the closet, the closet door and the exterior hinge door. You can see now that these cabinets, because I hit them with the line, are selected. Select escape. So it's very important when you're moving things. Front drag and just capture what you want to move. I'm going to go to my home tab and I'm going to select move. 
I'm going to zoom up and I'm going to click here on the corner of that wall and move it to the end of that cabinet. And everything moved with it. The kitchen sink and the window are moves necessary in the Z axis. I'm going to come up here and select 3D Orbit and move to the outside of my little cabin. Now you can see that the window is just as tall as that window. However, when we look at the inside, it's going into that cabinet. And you can see the sink going into the ground. If I select the window, I can do one of two things. I can select my right mouse button then and left click on properties to bring up the properties of that window. I'm going to close this out and select escape. The other thing I can do, and I can do anything with or this to anything, any component, is double click on the component. Double clicking on the window brings up that same properties window. If I use the sidebar to scroll down, I can see the height here is 5 feet. If I change it to 36 inches or 3 feet and select enter, you can see now my window is a little bit more normal for this type of kitchen. I'm going to close my properties window and use the orbit. And now it's not sneaking into my cabinets. I'm going to change the Z of the sink. This could be confusing to some. If I go to a front view, by means of selecting over by my 3D orbit and select the front view, I can see my conceptual, I'm still in, but if I go to the wireframe, I can see everything through my house. And you can see, once again, the sink is in the floor. If I select the sink, and I select now, move, and I can pick the sink anywhere. The cabinets have a standard height also. I'm going to click on the bottom and drag it up. Now, I do not want to see any of these apertures that are around. So what I want to do is drag it past anywhere it could stick to and just manually type in distance. And that distance for us is, just like the window, 36. Select Enter. You can see now, if I zoomed up, here's a kitchen blind drawer in the door in the top of the cabinet. And it has a small space of an inch and a half between what will be our countertop and our kitchen cabinet. If I go back to the top view, this completes our lesson of modification of components in your home.